there's a misconception by of people, including people that are even older than me, that, mm-hmm. oh, well, you played good because you took steroids, you know? And it's like, okay, well, then why didn't everybody play good? <laughs> you know, because there was a lot of guys taking steroids in the Big Ten. And there was a lot of guys taking steroids at that time in the country. And it was like, so, you know, and again, I'm not condoning the use of steroids, but it's like you still, as you guys all know, you got to be able to think on the run. You have to be able to listen to calls, you know, and one of my big things was also if I'm this big and this strong, unless I can run, it doesn't matter. Unless I'm playing nose guard or, you know, and I just need to clog up both, you know, a gaps or whatever, that's a whole different ball game. But if I need to be pulling and, and, and blocking on an Island, you know, it's like, you have to be athletic. You have to be able to run. You have to be able to have footwork. You have to be able to do all this. You have to be able to do with, you know, audibles. You have to, and then think about all the things that people don't talk about. You got to not get in trouble off the field. You got to go to class and, you know, there was people before my time that say, you got to go to class, stay eligible. Of course, I didn't take that attitude. I took the attitude of, I want to be a Rhodes Scholar. But <laughs> that's why I graduated last summer, or last fall, <laughs> I should say, after a 33-year hiatus. 